Hello students, in this video I will demonstrate how to create PHP application and database using VMware portal. So first of all you have to log in to view.carnet.edu. And here you can log in through the given username password. So for example, I'm going to log in using exam1 user account. So click login. So as soon as you log in, first you have to open, there is an application called Putty Client. So here you can see that. Open this software Putty Client. So click run button. So you will get this window here. There is a host address you have to remember called webtech.karunia.edu. So this is a hosting address of our Karunia server. So this is the address you have to use wherever it is asked host name or IP address. So here you have to give webtech.karunia.edu. Port number is default 122 you can use. No need to change any options. Click open. When you click open, you will get another window where you have to again log in to log in using your uh, username and password. For example, exam1, press enter. Now I have to give the password. Press enter. So now after login, so like this you have to login in putty client first. So after login you can minimize this and next you have to open Apache NetBeans IDE. So find Apache NetBeans IDE, double click the software. So now this is Apache NetBeans IDE. So here you are going to create a program using uh, PHP application. So first you have to create a project. So go to file, click new project, select PHP, here also PHP, click next. So here by default the project will be created in this directory. Uh, here you have to modify this location of the project. So for that you have to click browse and select computer and select the Z drive for every user there is a drive will be created here so open this Z drive just select the Z drive and click open now you will be getting Z drive like this so under Z drive you have to copy the project name and paste it here just copy the project name and paste it here click finish Now the project is created, here you can see the index.php program. So here you can design the PHP application front end uh, interface UI design you can do that and you can add as many PHP file, just right click the source file, add new PHP files. So now let us try to run the program. First we will test using a small echo message. Usually we have to run by using here we have to run right click run the file but in VMware you, we cannot do that so you have to open another software for executing the program so just you have to minimize this program minimize this NetBeans IDE then open go and find there is another software called FileZilla there is a software called FileZilla open the software FileZilla here also first it will ask host name here in the top toolbar, below toolbar you can see text boxes. Host name, username, password we have to give. So again webtech.carnet.edu is the host name. So here you have to type. So type webtech.carunia.edu Then username is exam, username, password. 
the port number here you have to use uh, 22 then click quick connect now you will get the status message home under home directory exam 1 was created ok and here you can see exam 1 so here this is a remote server site and this is a local z drive folder files you can see z drive files here here you can see the remote host service ok so you will be getting exam 1 under this exam 1 right click just select right click create a directory a new directory you have to uh, create called public underscore html public underscore html click ok now when you expand you can see public underscore html here so this is a hosting folder if you if you copy paste the php program inside this hosting folder we can able to execute the program so in the left side you have to first you have to find out the drive is a drive you have to find out open open the is drive in o in is drive we can see our project is created right the select this project you can see the files here when you select the project you can see the files here so this is the program we have created index.php so this program we have to load in the server site okay in the remote site you have to include so just drag and drop the file inside this box so you'll get the file is added to this server site so once you add the file you can test the program so in order to test the program again you have to s minimize this window open google chrome in google chrome you have to type the host name webtech webtech.cornera.edu slash you have to use till symbol the name of the user after till symbol you have to write the username alone then if you press enter you can see the output of the program you can see here so this is how you have to run the php program using filezilla after copying the file in this directory now here you can see welcome right so if you want to modify this code for example i want to create welcome to php i want to include one so this is the output i want and i want to include one hyperlink ahref is equal to i want to open another file called another one more file when i click that file i want to open another php program second php program so second php program if i want to run okay let's test that also so the second php program you can create right click add new php file second php click finish so inside you can write some testing code for example i'll write echo second welcome to second dot php okay second php page now i have added one more php program and i have modified the code in the index dot php file okay so if i want to execute this modification if i reload the page now it won't be there see nothing is coming so again what you have to do is if you modify anything in the php program you have to go to filezilla again and select the project folder so we click the project folder now you can see second.php see in remote server we, that second.php is not added so again also we have a uh, modified index.php file also right so select these two file drag and drop you will get overwrite option okay so we have to give overwrite click ok now two files added now if i refresh the page you can see welcome to php if i click second php second dot php is working so now the php program is successfully working so you can do the program as per the requirement
sometimes you want to connect to the database in from VMware so let's see how to do the database connection so just minimize all these windows don't close all the window you have to just minimize it so in VMware you cannot use exam server SAM server you cannot use so for VMware you have to use HD SQL there is a one more software called HS HD SQL open this software here again you have to give the username host name and password the host name is webtech.carnia.edu just type webtech.carnia.edu username is uh, exam1 the password then click only you have to give three input host address username password click open now the database window is open here automatically database is created which is a exam1 so don't create a database you have to create a table so in this database already left side you can see database right so in this database you have to create a table right click create new table so this option you have to use for creating a new table select when you select you will get this option here you have to give the name of the database uh, table you have to give for example I want to create students table so give the name of the table in columns you can see here you can configure the columns you have to add the column by clicking the add button for example name of the student data type is you can select varchar then add another column rest number so varchar or integer okay you can add another column for example CGP okay or you can add email address okay you want to store the email address of the student so now like this column you have to modify uh, configure this is a table name this is a column name so to create a table you have to there is a button called click save uh, there is a button called save click the save button so now the table is ready in the left side you can see table is ready and if you want to see the table data there is an option there is a one more tab called data so click data tab so you can see the table contents okay currently there is no to, no data inside okay right so if you want to work with this data database from php so first you have to create this table and this data uh, database database already created table you have to create so work with database as you know that we, can, we have to create a PHP code for uh, connecting the database right so let's see one example how to connect to the database for example here when I click the second PHP program it will open second.php now in second.php so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the database connection so how you have to use dollar connection is equal to new mysql i here the low ip address is actually webtech.carunia.edu don't give local host and here you have to give the exam one password as well as here you have to give the user id also okay the password also here you have to give so last one is the last argument is the name of the database the name of the database you can see in the HDSQL the name of the database is stu uh, exam1 exam1 is the name of the database this is a table name don't give the table name you have to give exam1 as a database name right so like this you can make a connection and you can check whether it is uh, uh, successful or not by using a you can check connect and connection check the connect connection error so if there is any error so this variable returns the boolean value true or false so if it is true we can display a error message echo
if it is no, not true we can display a successful message echo database connected so just to ch check whether the database is connected or not so now i have modified the second dot php but i didn't modify the index dot php uh, anyway if you modify any single word in second dot php or in the in the netbeans you have to go to filezilla and you have to drag and drop the file again again this will overwrite the previously hosted file so now the file is updated so open the browser again the browser first you can go to this exam one you will get this so when i click second program welcome to second php program database is connected so now we can we got the successful message database connected now you can continue writing the code for storing the data retrieving the data as per the requirement of your problem statement so this is how you have to work with the php program and database uh, table data configuration uh, in vmware okay so thank you all